Historically, oyster farming used techniques that required raking or vacuuming, damaging eelgrass, which is vital to survival of tiny fish and other invertebrates. So when eelgrass was found near oyster beds belonging to Hog Island Oyster Company, policymakers were alarmed. Hog Island teamed up with researchers from the Nature Conservancy in UC Santa Cruz to investigate the relationship between their oysters and the eelgrass. Key to their research? Drones. This camera is a really high resolution camera and it captures imagery um, in both video and still and that makes a map of the ecosystems we care about. Before drones, scientists had to rely on scuba diving, sonar studies, or airplanes to monitor eelgrass, all of them labor intensive or expensive. Probably would have taken about 50 separate steps just five years ago, and it would have taken maybe one or two days to complete. Now we can do it in 15 minutes. When paired with these goggles, head movement is synced with the drone's camera. Cool. It's almost a zen moment because you're actually able to fly. You can trick your brain to think you're actually up there in that drone. Oysters naturally clean turbid water, creating an ideal environment for eelgrass. So what researchers are finding is that modern day oyster farming methods that do not include raking or vacuuming might even be having a positive effect on eelgrass, which could be a game changer in regard to the strict regulations regarding oyster farming. The quality of the imagery has given us an amazing tool showing our policymakers this is what's going on. It will take a few more years of research before results are considered conclusive, but scientists are confident they will find the answers, thanks to the drones. Dina Mitchell for VOA News, Marshall, California.